a few notes on spiritual healing. The most important thing uh, when you do spiritual healing is to focus on yourself and your own healing and do that which heals you. Do that which makes you feel good. Because many of us, we go into these states in life with excess darkness, excess negative negativity, excess negative thinking. And that's where depression and anxiety and all of these things come from. Excess negative thinking, a, a sense of hopelessness, a sense of that I'm in darkness now and the darkness is going to continue forever and ever and ever. But darkness never continues forever and ever and ever. After darkness, there is light. So myself, I've suffered tremendously in my life. Tremendous amounts of suffering. You, you wouldn't imagine. Actually, anyone who teaches spirituality has suffered a lot. If you have not suffered, you will not be even motivated to teach spirituality. So I can only share what I practice. And when... You and I and we go through these periods of intense darkness and intense negative uh, thinking. We just have to do what heals us. We just have to do prioritize our own mental well-being, our own spiritual well-being. We have to do what l lifts us up. For example, if you are in the West, you are suffering a lot and there might be a, uh, for example, a psychologist or a therapist close by you go there and it, it, it sort of works uh, the teachings help you then that's a good thing then that is healing for you um, if you live somewhere else I don't know maybe in Vietnam and you're suffering and the only option available is the local temple and in the temple there is a there is a teacher who can heal. Then that is healing for you. This is it. If it's watching your favorite movie, then that, that might be what you have to do. So you have to prioritize yourself. This is very important when you do healing. You have to prioritize yourself. Um, and the worst thing for spiritual healing is religious dogmas. That's the worst thing for spiritual healing is religious dogmas. This belief versus that belief and so on. You know, all of those religious authority figures that think that they are right, that think that their way of thinking is the right way of thinking and so on, they are not going to be there for you when you suffer. So always remember this. All of those people that you might think that you have to adhere to their dogmas, you have to believe whatever they tell you, where are they when you are suffering? Then when you are suffering, you are left alone. This is why you have to prioritize your own healing. Because when you are healed, you will also naturally heal others. Oh, this is very important. So some practical um, advice on healing is, first of all, water. Water has healing element in it. Uh, and you are some 70% made of water. A warm shower can heal, a bath can heal, sauna, spa, um, hammam, etc. can heal because water has healing properties in it. The second is uh, food, to eat some healthy food, good food. It can be sweet, whatever you really, really like that can lift up the spirit a little bit. It doesn't have to be super toxic food, but something good that can heal you. Uh, meditation is very healing. It stills the mind, stops the negative thinking for a while. Remembering Allah, Zikrullah, uh, the, the chanting, holy chants, mantra will heal you. Um, prayer is tremendously healing. Um, so some practical advice. And always remember that what tends to happen when people go through very uh, negative periods and then they find healing in the teaching of, for example, a spiritual teacher, a guru or a sheikh. They tend to be very attached to the medicine. They tend to get very attached to the guru. That's natural in the healing process. But always remember that it is the divine that heals you. It's Allah. Allah, Yashafi, the healer that heals you through a, an intermediary of another person. 
Um, so the person only works as a tool. So the healing is not limited to that person such that if, if the person who heals you goes away, then you will suffer forever and ever. No, no, no. No, and it's the divine that heals you and the divine can use any tool to do this.